couple of um, points about Britain that I wanted to mention. I've got a couple of quotes I thought I'd read because I think they really speak to the current issue of what it is we're really laboring under. Because the legacy of Britain's imperial institutions still persists. And the problem with not losing a war is that the previous regime is not discredited, even if, after the war, there is a precipitous decline into mediocrity, stagnation, and irrelevance. Uh, we are still governed by the institutions that governed the British Empire. I mean, we still have the BBC, Britain's imperial propaganda mouthpiece. So it's entirely embedded in all of our political classes that they think in this kind of imperial mindset. And I just want to give you a couple of classic quotes that I think are genuinely hilarious. The glory days of Britain are not over. Tony Blair, his leader's speech in Blackpool in 1996. I came into politics because I love this country. I think its best days still lie ahead. David Cameron, 2010, first speech as PM at Downing Street. Some think Britain's best days are behind it. To those people, I say you are gravely mistaken. Boris Johnson, 2019, campaign speech. I believe Britain's best days are ahead of us. Liz Truss, leadership campaign slogan. I'm absolutely sure Britain's best days are ahead of it, not behind it. Keir Starmer, June 2023 in a Time Magazine interview. Our political class is consumed by delusion over what Britain is and its position in the world. These sentiments are not rooted in reality. We used to control a quarter of the globe's population, landmass and economy. I don't think we're going to one-up that in the near future. Um, what this is, is rooted in a desire to reclaim the glory of the empire, right? This is not people who are in the here and now looking clear-eyed into the future. What this is, is a nostalgic fantasy rather looking back into a lost past rather than into a probable future. The university educated classes are also filled with a kind of profound belief in Britain's manifest destiny, although they'll never openly say this to you, right? But you'll hear, and I'm sure you've all heard, this common refrain, we need to fix the root cause of migration. What does that actually mean? That actually means we have a moral authority now to interfere with foreign countries so they can be changed to such a condition so that the people in them feel that actually their personal situation would be worsened by coming to Britain rather than bettered. I mean, we gave up authority over these countries at the end of the empire for a reason, and the left would have argued at the time, and they did argue at the time, that that was good. And now they're still trying to create this kind of moral authority so we can go meddle in the affairs of foreigners. And then you also have the constant desire for Britain to be first in everything. It's quite a difficult thing when we don't have the resources to be first in anything, actually. Um, this is a part of the legacy of the imperial competition with the rest of Europe. Uh, we were first in a lot of things a hundred and something years ago. Um, we're not first in anything. And then you've got the way that the British state treats people as fungible entities. This is a distinctly instrumentalist and imperial view of what a person is. These are fungible populations. They are to be moved for particular reasons. There's a great example of this. Um, you must have all heard of the Rohingya. Do you know why they're in Burma? Do you know who they are? Anyone? They're Bangladeshi migrants into Burma, into Buddhist Burma, that the British Empire was like, oh, here's some fertile farmland. Come on in in the 19th century. Of course, in the 20th century, we leave. We leave the Burmese with a radical group. And the reason they're being cracked down on is a consistent legacy of terrorism, which they're not happy with. But we created that problem for them because like every empire, going right the way back to the Assyrians, we view a population which think, well, we can just pick them up, move them there and use them for something. They are just instruments to balance books on our managerial charts. They're not, it's not good for any of the people involved, but was beneficial for the empire. To watch the full video, please become a premium member at lotuseaters.com.